Hi all, it's Halligan from Kent Farmhouse and the Clash Files with another Warhammer video. Here you see our war log for the past uh, little bit, and the reason that I'm showing you this is because our current Warhammer recipient actually shows up on this log a little bit down the road. Cosmopolis. And if you go back to some of the other Warhammer videos, I'm sure you'll catch our war against them a uh, great clan and was interested because one of their members actually was checking out the podcast and decided he wanted to be a part of the kent family so uh requested a couple days ago and dr vent we're glad to have you aboard buddy because you brought some crazy good attacks to the table so let's get to it this was versus the Game Train, which was a, uh, they described themselves as a pushing war clan. And at the, at the time of this war, we were in the middle of our push, so we were miles ahead of them. So, uh, it, it was kind of, kind of fun to see another, another push clan that, uh, did take war fairly seriously. And, uh, we were beating them on both counts. Good clan, but, uh. Not good enough. So let's see what Vent brings to the table. He's uh, 9.5 and has been uh, really helping out with our uh, the attacks in the Higher Town Hall 9s. So let's take a look at his first attack against their number 8, Ziggy. And uh, he's kind of brought sexy back with these Valks. Really caught the attention of a lot of us. Who we, there's there's been a few guys that are using the Valk attacks, um, but he just made it look so easy that uh, a lot of guys are, are really jumping on board with that. Supercell's got to be happy because the Valks are finally getting some attention. So you see, he draws the uh, CC out, even with the poison spell, draws it out to the corner and does a standard kill. Mostly because we're seeing dragons. Since the poison spell has been introduced, people got wise real quick, and you're seeing a lot of dragons. This war was, uh, I'd say, four days ago, five days ago. So it didn't give them much time to upgrade their dragons, so we saw a lot of level fours. Uh, our most recent war, we saw a ton of level fives, and they were giving us some... Uh, giving us some trouble. Here you see that he's got those Valks, and once you get that funnel and get those Valks on the inside, they wreck stuff. I think four of them, uh, great heal placement on that, by the way. He's got the hogs coming in from two directions, and he healed the uh, a big group of hogs as well as his Valks, and uh, that was really impressive. You keep those Valks healed, Collectively, I think four of them have the same hit points as a golem, but obviously just do way more DPS than a golem. So uh, you see, I'm kind of focusing in on those those Valks because they they did d did do so much damage. And finally, even with that can hammering away on it. I don't know if that Valk's going to fall because the hogs catch up to it. And Yeah, look at that. Still ready to tank now that the uh, all the defenses are out of commission. So you can really count on them for the cleanup as well. Now it worked real well because his king ended up doing a walk after the initial attack and cleaned up a lot of stuff on the outside. But he's got plenty of troops. I mean, even with the the few hogs that survived the attack, got plenty for cleanup. So that was a, a, just a fantastic three-star. Let's check his second attack. Now, this one, he uses uh, a number less Valks. I think he's only got three Valks on here. But I was really surprised that even at the end of the raid, all three of those Valks are still alive. Here you can see you got the uh, 
what's become pretty standard Dragon Loon in the CC. This guy had five archers to go along with it. But uh, regardless, you just drop a couple barbs, pull those guys to the corner. Nice open corner on this one that uh, once they're bunched up, get those wizards down and they'll take out that that dragon way better than a uh, poison spell will. Poison s slows them down, but just doesn't really dent them. So you need the the wizards and the queen in this case to take them down. I mean, look at how much damage that level 25 queen took just from a level 4 dragon. Once we start seeing more of the level 5s, it's, uh, it's difficult. They really did give us troubles. So even with that wide funnel, you can see that his Valks ended up going towards the outside. But that kind of works to his favor because you can see the way that the pathing with those hogs go, the two-finger drop there, they just run straight down the map. was able to keep two groups real healed with a square pattern on the heal spells. And uh, it's, it's done. I mean, there's, there's nothing that can stop those hogs the way that the pathing worked out. So let them do the work on the defenses, and those Valks are getting their work in on cleanup. Just amazing stuff. Definitely looking to level my uh, level 1 Valks up after seeing a couple of these attacks. Yeah, I get a couple more levels on my king. Once once uh, heroes are both at 20, then DE's getting dumped into those Valks for a while. Because Vent sure makes them sexy. I mean, look at all those troops left for cleanup. Done deal. One drill left to go, and that's a six-star war for one of our newest members, Dr. Vent. Uh, so great job, Doc. Glad to have you with Kent. Glad to have you uh, kind of showing us some stuff. Now, this is a new app I'm using to record this video, so uh, leave some comments to let me know what you thought quality-wise, what have you. I'm sure we'll talk more about it on the podcast, but uh, as of now... Thank you all for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at DS Halligan. Make sure to check out the podcast, The Clash Files. It's available on iTunes or if you're on Android, whatever app you use to download your favorite podcasts, whether it's Dog Catcher, Beyond Pod, some of the more popular ones. So until the next time we bring the hammer down, I'm Halligan and you're not.